the promise of hydrogen fuel as an enabler for decarbonizing flying, while also maintaining a viable level of performance for aircraft, has increasingly become a strong motivator for innovation. Beyond the major aircraft manufacturers, dozens of startups around the world are now committed to a race to bring this technology to market. And at the recent Paris Air Show, I found a prime example of this trend in French company Blue Spirit Aero. So Blue Spirit Aero is, a, is an aircraft OEM. We conceive, design, certify, manufacture and sell a hydrogen electric aircraft, uh, which is called the Dragonfly, uh, which actually is a family of aircraft. You see the first um, demonstrator here, which is a four-seater, um, first in a family that will include a six-seater and an eight-seater. And the key point here is that the power comes from hydrogen, but explain how that works, explain how the propulsion works. Exactly, so electric aviation is the future, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Um, the foundational choice is whether you use battery or not. Uh, batteries are quite heavy and the dead weight doesn't really work for, for aviation. And so the only choice, the only choice that makes sense from an economical point of view or from a unit economics of an air operator point of view is to use what we have used, which is um, hydrogen fuel cells. So in very simple term, um, a hydrogen fuel cell is this magic box in which you feed hydrogen and oxygen from ambient air and out comes electricity and H2O. So the byproduct of this is literally pure water that you can drink. The hydrogen electric demonstrator model on display in Paris had an unusual configuration, reflecting the fact that it will have a very different powertrain architecture to other aircraft of a similar size and function. This forms part of a so-called blown wing design that companies like Blue Spirit believe can deliver higher levels of aerodynamic efficiency. So this aircraft will have 12 motors, uh, six on each wing, spread alongside the, the leading edge, uh, which gives us what we call the blown wing effect, which is very important because that allows the aircraft to take off and land on very short runway. And in this particular uh, case, this aircraft takes off and lands on 300 meters of runway. So what you have is, is here you have one pod, which is um, completely independent from all the others. So um, in terms of safety and redundancy, uh, extremely important, especially for certification uh, issues. And each pod carries its own entire propulsive chain, meaning that within each pod you have a uh, hydrogen fuel tank at the back, you have a small fuel cell, you have a balance of plant, you have an electric motor and a propeller. And the only thing that links uh, the pod together is the flight computer that harmonizes how 12 pods are working together to make sure that the aircraft behaves either if you want as a single engine aircraft or if you want as a twin engine aircraft where the six pods on the right and the six pods on the left are decoupled from each other. A common criticism of plans to electrify aircraft is that the power source will not deliver sufficient range and payload to be commercially viable. Blue Spirit is not alone in insisting that hydrogen fuel can provide benefits that go beyond environmental considerations. This aircraft has a, an autonomy of three hours, it flies for about 700 kilometers, so 380 nautical miles, at a, at a cruise speed of 125 knots, so uh, just below 200 kilometers, or just above 200 kilometers an hour. In decreasing order of importance, <laughs> it's much cheaper to own and operate. Just like an electric car, maintenance costs are an order of magnitude less than the maintenance cost of a traditional internal combustion engine. Um, second point, electric propulsion makes it silent. You don't have to live by noise abatement restrictions around the airport. You can use this aircraft 24-7 without the, the people living around the airport complaining. And third point, as I mentioned, the byproduct of the engines is pure drinking water, um, so sustainable uh, in that sense. Well, Blue Spirit first revealed its new aircraft in June during the famous Le Mans 24-hour car race in France. Now it's stepping up development work to bring the hydrogen electric propulsion system to market for early adopters. This will have its first flight uh, first quarter of next year in 2026, which will kick off 
a, a flight test campaign, which will then uh, kick off the certification process. So we aim to have this certified and enter into service in 2028. Um, today we have letters of interest from 21 clients across the world for more than 200 aircraft, mostly from professional pilot training schools. Another common objection to the path Blue Spirit and others are taking is that it will be too hard for aircraft operators to source hydrogen fuel. We say to those people what we have done last week in Le Mans, which is that we, as Blue Spirit Arrow, build our own ref hydrogen refilling station on the airfield in two months for less than 50K. And that it's actually, once you do it once, you realize how easy it is. And those mobile portable hydrogen refilling stations can be shipped anywhere in the world. The benefits of having um, professional pilot training schools as clients is they have captive fleets, which means they only need to make the investment into the hydrogen refilling infrastructure once because the airplanes take off in the morning and come back home at night to the same base where the hydrogen refilling station is located. Well, if you've got a strong interest in future aviation technologies, we've got stories and videos like this all the time. You'll find those at ainonline.com slash futureflight. Thank you for watching.